it's bigger, it's better, and it's now in 3D. These are the claims of the newly released map of the universe, and that has scientists very excited about this huge scientific achievement. It's a project that took 15 years of research, more than 100 scientists from around the world, and a lead research team out of the University of Waterloo in Ontario. So let's take a look. Each one of these dots represents a galaxy, just like our own Milky Way. Uh, we're traveling away from Earth, and you can see these galaxies speeding by. This map is made up of two million galaxies and quasars and looks farther out, or further back if you will, than any other map, 11 billion years into the past. And the universe is 13.7 billion, so that's a huge swath of time. The team used the telescope, the Sloan telescope, that has a special spectrograph to basically see the color of galaxies. Plotting a 2D map of the universe is a little more straightforward. You look up in the sky, you measure the angles, and you get a flat map. But to get a 3D map, the team used something called the redshift to figure out the distance between objects. Take a listen to the lead author. We found that the universe is accelerating in its expansion. That means that it is getting larger and larger at a more and more rapid rate. And this goes against modern physics. With this kind of map, we're really testing physics at levels you could never test in a lab on the Earth. And we're seeing strange things happen. There's new physics out there, and that's what's exciting. So what the team ended up with was basically a standard ruler. And from this, a whole bunch of other experiments about the universe can be tested. And already, we're seeing patterns as to how matter clumped together after the Big Bang. And it's not arbitrary. A major question mark in our understanding of the universe is dark energy. We know it exists everywhere, but we're just not sure exactly what its properties or use is. But this map really opens the door to starting to answer some of those big questions. As for the research team, all of this data is available to the public, meaning you or I could download it if we want to. These open databases often produce even more discoveries and scientific papers than the original research team. So stay tuned. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.